Hi there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and today we're going to take some metallic foils and upcycle a pair of old boots. So it's a cute story behind these boots. Um, Ashley and Amber actually were out doing a little thrifting and came across these and I want to tell you they look like they've been well worn. You can see the heels are worn off. The toes are even pretty much worn off. So I'm going to just do my best to um, give them some new life and see what happens. Uh, I'm assuming as they have been worn that they're pleather, not leather. <laughs> So I'm going to do a quick cleaning and I'm just going to clean off the surface with some isopropyl uh, alcohol, normally use 91%. Uh, I do put it into a spray bottle because it's just easier. I'm going to spray it on a paper towel and see about cleaning these off. I'm telling you, there was a kid that loved these boots. That's all I can say. <laughs> you can see that we got some of the dye even coming off as we're doing that. And it's not going to be a total repair by any means, but uh, I think these can turn into something pretty cute. And maybe another little one can have some fun kicking around on these boots. Okay, once you clean them up, and I didn't get them wet, I just kind of cleaned them off. We're gonna grab our final coat. Final coat is a flexible varnish, and I like to seal pleather before I go forward. Um, I have found that if you just go directly onto the pleather with our foil adhesive, you can have some issues. It can soak into this uh, fake finish and possibly when you go to do your foil transfer, it will just pull it off. So be careful on pleather, make sure you seal it. And the reason I like using Final Coat is because it is a flexible varnish and I'm not gonna make these cute little boots stiff, okay? I'm just protecting this surface so that I can uh, put our adhesive on it. I'm probably gonna put two coats on just because these little babies have seen so much wear and tear. But I think these are gonna be super cute and uh, hopefully we can make them totally stylish for the next person that would like to kick around in them. So 100% coverage. And final coat is really meant to go on thin. So you can see my bubbling just because I'm probably getting it a little bit thicker, but I do come back and always fan all that out and make sure that it's drying clear and not without any uh, bubbles in the, the finish. But you can see how much better the final coat actually made, made the pleather look. So we're upgrading them already just with getting the final coat on them. Okay, I'm gonna do both of the shoes and I'm gonna let this sit for a couple hours before I go to my next layer. Um, even though Final Coat dries relatively fast, I do wanna let it sit a little bit longer than usual and get two full coats on there and let that dry probably overnight before I go on to my foil adhesive. Reason being is I wanna make sure that I have treated this pleather well enough that our foil application will work. I put two full coats of this on here, wanting to kind of make sure I had a little extra repair or coverage on all the little scuffed areas. So I put two coats on, let them thoroughly dry, and now we're gonna put our wonderful foil adhesive on here. So this is our Artsyville Embellishments foil adhesive, and I've got a nice baked tub of it here, okay? <laughs> 
This way you can see that inside the container it looks milky white. And I do recommend just taking some out, putting it on what I call a sticky plate, which is just a foam plate that you can allow all of any of the extra to just dry. And that way you just got a sticky plate laying around and you can always use this just over and over, which I have. There is layer and layer of leftover foil adhesive on there, okay? But this will allow us to put our lid back on and keep our container safe. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of water. I want to thin it down just a tiny bit, okay? And I'm using a mist bottle, not a regular spray bottle, so it's just spraying out a tiny bit of water. And I'm going to mix it in because sometimes it just helps it to brush a little bit smoother. And we're going to go ahead and paint on a full coat. Now, I'm not taping anything, so I'm just going to try and be super neat and stay up on top of the stitching here. I just want to stay away from where the um, zipper is, okay? And that's really the only place that I'm wanting to be careful around. And then also kind of stay off of the sole. If I do get anything there, I could always come in and clean that up with uh, some black paint as well. But I'm going to put on 100% coverage on this boot, and we're going to foil everything but the sole and the zipper, <laughs> and hopefully give them a wonderful new look. So the foil adhesive goes on milky white, as you can see, and it will dry completely clear. So you want to give the foil adhesive, especially on this project, I would give the foil adhesive at least a couple hours to thoroughly dry um, because it's probably going to still soak in to some of this pleather a little bit and we don't want anything to pull off. We want it to dry to what we call a nice, firm, hard tack. So it's going to be tacky but not sticky filling when it's dry. So put on good coverage, okay? I'm not skimping uh, with the amount of product that I'm putting on here. I'm just trying to keep off of the zipper area. So the foil adhesive will never dry beyond a firm tack. So once it gets to that uh, level of dryness within a few hours, it won't dry beyond that. So if you would like to allow your project to sit overnight or you just run out of time to finish, don't worry. You can allow the foil adhesive to dry for days. It's never going to dry beyond that firm tack. So don't feel like there's only a certain amount of hours of opportunity to come back and foil. Just make sure that if you are not going to get back to your project right away, that you put these little boots or whatever you're working on someplace super safe. That way, nothing else will get stuck to them, okay? We almost have it here. As you can see, they look milky white, and even though they're going to clear out in maybe about 20-30 minutes, don't push this project because we're on pleather. You can see it's starting to dry down in that one area already, um, but don't push this project. Just let them dry on their own, and that way they're going to get some really good dry time. They're going to bond. We're not going to be compromising the pleather finish. With leather, you can go a little bit faster, but pleather, um, it has a tendency because it's a fake leather that things are soaking in, and I really allow things to dry well before I go forward. So I'm just gonna finish up the other boot and allow these to dry, and then we'll get to come back for the super fun part of the whole project, which will be transferring our foil.
I have these two little cuties done. I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna let them sit here for a few hours and then we'll be back for some fun foils. The foil adhesive has had several hours to dry and we just are at a really firm tack. So when you're testing the adhesive, it should feel like it's tacky, but nothing should feel like it's ever coming off on you. It should just feel like a real firm, super, super sticky surface, okay? We decided around here that I think these need to go snake, okay? So we're gonna do the Serpico snake on here, and I think I'm gonna cut it into a few smaller sections, just making it a little bit more manageable to do this, okay? I think we're gonna just make it, make it work, okay? And might have to do a few little cuts to try to get it to fit around. And I think I'm gonna get out my toothbrush, you guys. Toothbrush is great when you're working on some of these smaller little areas and just scrub. So I'm using a firm toothbrush. I uh, normally find all my scrub brushes at the Dollar Tree. Uh, they're so close, okay? It's so easy to go over there and grab some. I'm also working on a silicone uh, mat that if I, oops, don't get that stuck on the wrong side there. If I lean this and lay it on there, it won't get stuck um, onto that mat, okay? So it's just a good, nice thing. If you don't have a silicone mat, maybe put some um, wax paper or something underneath that you won't get stuck to. I wouldn't just work on paper, okay? And let's just scrub this really good here. We want a nice transfer. Let's take a little peek. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. They're gonna be as awesome, if not more awesome than they were to begin with. I think they're gonna be more awesome, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking as I'm removing it, making sure that we have got as full of coverage as we can. And if I'm finding any place where it's not transferred super well, I'll just put that foil sheet right back there. And whoa, look how fun these are gonna be. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off a little piece here because I wanna do some filling in where I missed a little bit of coverage. And I wanna get this going the same direction. Oh my gosh, these are just going to be absolutely adorable and again I'm cutting off manageable pieces because I'm trying to work the pattern uh, where it is going to look like we have different stitched leather pieces together or should snake pieces <laughs> uh, sewn together and then I think we'll go ahead and do I think maybe I'll even continue around the base. Uh, oops, let's don't get that stuck on there before it's ready. Okay, let's move that other boot out of the way. I'm telling you, um, it's dangerous to have <laughs> anything sticky laying around your foils. Uh, it's so easy to just get a little caught in them. Okay, I think. I think we'll use this piece back here. And you don't have to be uh, so piecing it together if you don't want. I'm just trying to kind of keep together with the way that the boot was sewn together and keep with that direction. Okay, let's do this side as well. Okay, let's go this direction. I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller. Okay, I have that section. Okay, yeah, let's cut it a little bit smaller here. That way I can just position a little bit more precise. Get the heel taken care of. Oh my gosh. These are just going to be absolutely stinking adorable. 
as they already are. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go for some of this pattern going straight up the sides here. I'm going to try to go from like the middle over so that I can match that pattern up. And we're just going to bring this design and then continue just to scrub. Now I'm just putting my hand in here. This foil is such a fabulous release that I'm not having any problems getting it to transfer. Just having to scrub a little bit harder where the stitching is for the design get it down in there. Oh my, 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 my. Okay, I keep, think I'm gonna keep with that pattern going up. Okay, so I'm gonna be cutting. Oh, here's another little piece, okay. I'm gonna cut, I think this, to go up the middle here. And get that to the zipper area. And just remember, anywhere there is a lower section, like the stitching is kind of recessed, um, you always have to probably pull back the foil and scrub a little bit harder in those areas uh, just to get the pattern to fall in there. And then let me see if I can wrap the back all at once. All in all, maybe about a foot per boot. Uh, I'm sure I'm using actually a little bit less, but I'm just kind of piecing together to kind of get the pattern I want in certain areas. So you could probably even get away with a little bit less if you're not trying to like change the direction of the design and really work the pattern. And it could depend on just which foil you choose. If you're not feeling snaky, but what kid wouldn't want a pair of snake boots? Oh. So always pull back, critique the work, lay your foil back over, scrub a little more, Oh, ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Oh my gosh, you guys. Those are just stinking cute. And you'd never know that the toe had been so worn off. That looks so great. Okay, let's go for boot number two here, okay? And we're going to try to stay in something similar as far as positioning. Oh, I cut that one really close. And if you do cut it really close, this pattern just seems to be almost seamless on any kind of matching up and filling in. So I really wouldn't worry about it. I think the Serpico snake uh, is just a great option, not only for a pair of kid boots, but I'm telling you, I got a pair of cowboy boots that I did a while back, and I'm really thinking I need to redo them with this particular foil. <laughs> okay, let's get my hand in here. Give myself a little bit more resistance. These babies are gonna look brand stinking new here by the time we're done. Let's some of our scraps here. Finish out the heel. I'm telling you, I'm really using up all my scraps here. Just cut off any of the pieces you've already transferred so those don't get stuck and just use up your um, leftover corners and just all those little pieces 
especially on something so small as these boots. Your little scrap pieces are going to come in super handy. And keep your amount of foil that you need down to a minimum. Right where it's next to the stitching, um, sometimes you'll have to release that. And maybe in like you just saw me do, use my fingernail to get down into that little area so that you can make sure that none of that um, brown leather or pleather is still showing, even on those real deep little seamed areas, okay? That's how easy this foil transfers. Okay, let's finish up the back and these little babies are going to be just about done. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Those are just the cutest, cutest little snake cowboy boots ever. Okay, I'm just going to get all my scraps out of the way. And I'm going to say if you're going to try and do something similar where you're really trying to match up the pattern and use it in a particular way like that, you might want to go ahead and make sure that you have about um, three, three feet of foil total. Uh, that way you don't have to worry. Okay, we're just going to grab a nice clean foam plate here, but everything is dry on it. I'm going to brush on the final coat and seal these. The beauty is once you're done transferring your foil, there is nothing else you have to wait for. You can immediately go ahead and seal your project. Uh, so there's no needing to uh, give yourself you know, time for drying. Everything was dry before you even started with the foils. So I'm just using a regular artist brush and just like we did to seal the um, pleather before we added the foil adhesive, the same final coat will also be your seal coat. So you're going to be able to use that under and over the foils. Again, it's a flexible varnish and will protect these super well. Now, I would recommend that you're going to put at least probably five coats of the final coat on here. You really want to um, seal these up really good. Realize that there's gonna be a young kid hopefully wearing these and they're not real gentle <laughs> on their shoes as we saw uh, with repurposing these. Um, so layer on your final coat, probably about 20, minutes maybe in between layers and put on a good five six coats make sure they're well sealed and protected and we will have some awesome awesome boots for a little one oh, these are just so cute so as i'm finishing up these adorable boots with the final coat. You will find the links to all the products that I've used today um, in the comments below. And then if you'll do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss any of our upcoming tutorials. And we have some fun tutorials for you. So thanks for hanging out with us today and we'll see you on the next video.